standing shooting, one of the hardest parts of biathlon and the part of biathlon that gives most competitors the hardest time. In today's video, we are going to go over standing setup and position to help you hit the target. In this episode of Biathlon University, it's time to talk about standing shooting. This video has been highly requested and I think it'll be very beneficial to many people. There's so much to say about standing shooting, but this video will be an overarching big picture type of video that explains the basics. So hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on all the Biathlon University content coming out. All of the recommendations I'll give in this video are general practices. Each athlete has their own style and setup that works for them. However, this video should get you close to the ideal setup, and from there, it's about playing around with the setup until you find your ideal position. The first thing to think about when it comes to standing shooting is stability. Because you'll not be using a cuff and sling in the standing, extra focus on stability and setup is required. And in standing, stability starts with the feet placement. Feet should be about shoulder width apart, and 60% of the weight should be on the front foot. Next, in regards to stability, the best way to get a stable position is to lock your knees. I know this may seem counterintuitive, but by locking your knees, you will engage your skeletal structure as opposed to relying on muscles to support the rifle. Moving up the body, it's now time to create a platform with the hips. This is where different body types start to differentiate, but I always encourage athletes to pop their hips to 12 o'clock and then one o'clock to create a nice foundation. Note that when you're doing this, you're not shifting your weight, you're just moving your hips. Next, with your left hand, Grip the rifle by the standing block. Again, how you hold your rifle will depend on personal preference. However, I recommend splitting your index fingers and middle fingers and supporting the weight with your thumb. Now it's time to engage your monopod by placing your elbow on the hip platform you created a few steps back. The goal for supporting the rifle is to create a figurative support post with your skeletal structure. From your hand, through your forearm, to your hip, femur, shin, foot, and then the ground. When all these items lock into place, rifle stability has been achieved. If anywhere down the chain there's a weakness, whether it be the hand, the elbow placement, a bent knee, ultimate stability cannot be obtained and good luck hitting the target. So play around with where your elbow connects to your hip. For some it's pretty wide, in others it's tucked in close. Regardless of your body type, build that monopod with firm and stable connection points. After building stability, the next step is fine aiming. Grab the pistol grip, squeeze it firmly, and pull it into your chest. Your bicep here should be the only muscle firing when you are in position. Once you are looking through the sights, it's time to think about natural point of aim. Natural point of aim is where your rifle is aiming when you completely relax your body. This is also the default spot your rifle wants to aim when you pull the trigger. So getting your natural point of aim as close to the target as possible is crucial. When you look through the sights, if you are left or right of the target, don't twist your core or your hips. This will engage muscles. Instead, rotate your feet left or right until your aim moves over the target. Next, if you're too high or too low, again, don't use muscles to get you there. This time, we're going to adjust the rifle. There's two things that can be done to raise or lower your aim in standing. First is to raise or lower the standing grip. The second is to raise or lower the bottom butt hook. I recommend starting with the standing grip to get you close and then you can adjust the butt hook for final adjustments. Now that you are close to the target and have stable setup, the next step is aiming and hitting the target, and that's gonna come in a different video. So hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified when that video comes out. 